Today I want to take a minute and pick up the second part of this song that Moses sang and that the Israelites um, learned and sang with him. It, it picks up in verse 6 of Exodus 15. It says, Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, smashes the enemy. In the greatness of your majesty, you overthrow those who rise against you. You unleash your blazing fury. It consumes them like straw. At the blast of your breath, the waters pile up. The surging waters stood straight like a wall. In the heart of the sea, the deep waters became hard. The enemy boasted, I will chase them and catch up with them. I will plunder them and consume them. I will flash my sword. My powerful hand will destroy them. But you blew with your breath and the sea covered them. They sank like lead in the mighty waters. Now, a couple of interesting things. In this culture, the right hand was considered the hand of skill and power, right? And we actually see sometimes where left-handed people are talked about in Scripture and they actually are referenced as being left-handed, like uh, Ehud, who was one of the judges. He was known as the left-handed man. And I believe it's uh, one of the battles in the book of Judges. I think it's the tribe of Benjamin. Uh, they are talked about as having these great left-handed warriors. So left-handedness was often not seen as, um, uh, as being as powerful, the right hand, right? The right hand was a place of honor, and it was seen as a place of skill and power when it's talking about battle in the Lord here. So what happens in this little part of this song is he talks about, Moses does, and the people sing about this fury that comes upon the Egyptians. And it glorifies the defeat of God's enemies. And we should glorify that too, the defeat of God's enemies. Like that should be something that that um, people, you know, we, we, can, we can celebrate and be excited when we see the will of God and when we see God's hand working in the world around us, they saw this and they could celebrate it. So it even talks about at the blast of your breath, the waters pile up. They stood straight like a wall. And then it talks about what the Egyptians wanted to do in plundering and consuming them. And it says in verse 10, but you blew with your breath and the sea covered them. So just as God had parted the waters, they're saying, God, you brought the waters back together. And it says, I like this line, the last line in verse 10. It says, they sank like lead in the mighty waters. Beautiful language when you think about what this really represents in this destruction of the enemies of Israel and most importantly, the enemies of God. You know, Pharaoh had said from the start, who is, who is this God and why should I listen to him? Well, Pharaoh's learned now. He knows who God is. And he is done pursuing the Israelites and done with not knowing who God is. Have a great day.